Hello everyone. Welcome to Amazon Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to set up self-service group management in Azure Active Directory. You can enable users to create and manage their own security groups or Microsoft 365 groups in Azure Active Directory. The owner of the group can approve or deny membership requests and can delegate control of group membership. Keep in mind that the self service group management feature are not available for mail enabled security groups or distribution list. When security groups are created in the Azure portal or using Azure Active Directory PowerShell, only the group owners can update membership. Security groups created by self service in the access panel and all Microsoft 365 groups are available to join for all users whether owner approved or auto approved. In the access panel, you can change membership options when you create the group. An example of self-service group management scenario is two users who both have SharePoint online sites that they set up independently. They want to give each other's teams access to their sites. To accomplish this, they can create one group in Azure Active Directory and in SharePoint Online, each of them selects that group to provide access to their sites. When someone wants access, they request it from the access panel and after approval, they get access to both SharePoint Online sites automatically. Later on, one of them decides that all people accessing the site should also get access to the particular SaaS application. The administrator of the SaaS application can add access rights for the application to the SharePoint online site. From then on, any request that get approved gives access to the two SharePoint online sites and also to this SaaS application. Now it's time to see self-service group management in action. First, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, under favorites, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Groups. Under Settings, click on General Settings. Under Self-Service Group Management, first we have Owners can manage group membership request in Access Panel option, which by default is set to No. If you enable this setting, user can request a security group or Microsoft 365 group membership and then group owners can approve or deny membership. Remember, this feature requires Azure Active Directory Premium License. Set the setting to Yes, so your job as an administrator will be little easier. Next, we have option to restrict users' ability to access groups in the Access Panel. Access Panel is a page that end users will be able to see and request membership to groups. I'll keep the settings to default no, so users can request membership to groups through the access panel. If you set the settings to yes, then group and user admin will have read-only access. Keep in mind that global admin will have access regardless of these settings. By default, all users can create and manage their own security groups or Microsoft 365 groups in Azure Active Directory. And this is the settings which allow them to do so. If you change the settings to no, users can't create security groups or Microsoft 365 groups and can't change existing groups for which they are an owner. However, they can still manage the membership of those existing groups and approve requests from other users to join their groups. I'm going to set both settings to no as I don't want users to be able to create their own security and Microsoft 365 group. All administrator will still be able to create security and Microsoft 365 group whenever needed. Again, you can change the settings as per your organization's requirement. 
So I'm going to set this value to no for security group as well as for Microsoft 365 groups. After modifying the settings at top bar, click on save to save the changes to the group settings. Let's wait for the confirmation message successfully updated a group settings. So that concludes the video on how to set up self-service group management in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.